today we're headed to Hapa Sushi at the Landmark in DTC. Hapa's got four locations. This one's right near our office. Eat there all the time. Mark the owners who we're gonna be hanging out with today. This place crushes it. I can't wait to go eat. Let's eat. Episode of Restaurant Tours on Ocean Eats. Welcome uh, to Hapa Sushi in the Landmark. This is uh, one of the four locations. We're here with Mark. Mark's the owner here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the history of Hapa and your history and how you got involved in the sushi business. Um, I'm, uh, as you, we were just talking, uh, from the East Coast, from Washington, D.C., and uh, I used to be in the fashion business, uh, designed and developed uh, shoe and apparel companies. Um, we kind of burnt out, uh, always wanted to head west, came out to, uh, to Boulder. And what year was that? Uh, that was in 95. Okay. And, uh, you know, at the time when we first came out, uh, food, at, particularly in Boulder, uh, but even in Denver at the time, was mediocre at best. Sure. And saw an opportunity um, that, uh, the other thing people didn't really do a good job back then was with service. No one knew what the word service meant. Yeah. Um, so decided that uh, there was an opportunity in the restaurant space and decided I could do it um, and saw that sushi was at the tipping point at that point. So that was probably in 90, decided to do it in 98, um, opened in 99. Um, you know, sushi before that time was kind of kind of came and went. Like I grew up, you know, sushi got hot for a while and then went away and, you know, it was pretty mom and pop. Um, and then in 90, like I said, 98, realized that, hey, the sushi is going to be here as a mainstay. So you had never been in the restaurant business? No. Never been a sushi chef? No. You know, so you have no expertise in it, but you're like, I'm going to open a sushi place in Boulder, Colorado. Yes. And it turned out to be a pretty it, good yeah, decision. And here we are, literally 20 years later, we're yeah. celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. So where, where does the name Hapa come from? And does that have anything to do with the style of food it, that you do? Uh, good question, and yes, it Thanks. does. Uh, uh, Hapa, in, um, in 99, when we, we picked the name, Hapa was really a slang term that referred to someone who was half white and half Asian, really out of Hawaii. Okay. You know, you, Hapa Hoolies you would hear a lot. Um, and actually now, 20 years later, Hapa is actually a word in the dictionary that refers to a blend of cultures. Okay. And that's exactly what Hapa is. We're a blend of culture. Um, we're not a traditional sushi restaurant, although we certainly you know, do have tr you know, traditional sashimi like you have in front of you here. Um, and tuna poke that we have here. Um, you know, it's kind of funny that poke's gotten hot all of a sudden. We've been doing the same dish, to our tuna poke, for, since we started. And that's a Hawaiian that, So Hawa Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, you, you kind of made your, your name, Hapa, a big deal. People think of Hapa, they think of sushi rolls. Yes. And you've come up with crazy names and, and combinations. And so that's where I want to start with, right here. This is the one that made you famous? I, I would say so. Uh, best this, seller? Even one of our best sellers. Okay. This is our orgasm roll. Okay. Um, and again, doing something non-traditional, um, it's a roll that's actually baked with a, a wasabi <clears throat> aioli on top. Um, uh, and it, yeah, and it's just, it's, <laughs> it's so amazing. Yeah. It's so the, 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 the name of the roll kind of describes, you know, um, what it feels like. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, um, and, I, and as I mentioned before, our tuna terra poke, um, one of the things we do unique is uh, it's on top of a taro cake. Taro is, is a um, root vegetable, similar to a potato, but grown in Hawaii. Okay. Um, and uh, if you uh, eat the tuna, the, the terra cake does taste like potato. Um, really crunchy it's a great with the with the poke other signature dish that we do is this our booty call um, it's our lobster roll uh, 
and it's done with a butter garlic sauce on top. Um, just amazing. Has this been on the menu for? For a while. Um, that's probably been on the menu for 10 years now. And that is something where um, we do try to update and keep things fresh and we're always adding. Oh my God. I haven't had that one before. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> an amazing dish. Um, uh, then we do, you know, sashimi style. This is um, this has been our menu since day one. This is our Colorado style. It's hamachi, jalapeno, um, cilantro um, with a ponzu, uh, jalapeno ponzo sauce. Again, super clean, just amazing uh, taste. And, and where do you get your fish from? It's flown in from all over the world. You know, hamachi is. Uh, all of our hamachi is farm raised from Japan, again flown in fresh, um, you know, never frozen. Um, the, I'm not sure a lot of sushi bars can say that. Okay, right. Um, this looks, they look very similar. Yeah, so, so that that's our salmon poke. Um, and what's the sauce here on the side? Um, this is our, that's um, sour cream and then we do a poke sauce that you're seeing on there. Sour cream with, with poke. Yeah. Is that, is yeah. that traditional? It, it is. It is. Uh, well, I'm going to try a little salmon poke yeah. with a little sour cream. I guess that does make sense. Yeah, sour yeah. cream and salmon. Mm, yeah. They do go together. Yes. It does work. That's delicious. Um, and then, you know, we do uh, a lot of cooked food out of our kitchen. For those who don't quite do the raw thing, it's our chicken teriyaki. Um, and we do a number of uh, things, you know, off the grill um, from our kitchen. If yeah, people don't realize, you have a really extensive menu here. We do. This uh, is our Iwin miso uh, ahi with a yuzu uh, miso sauce. Try that. Let me know what you think. Okay. I'll do that for you. Uh, <laughs> Delicious. I mean, it's, the quality of the tuna here is phenomenal. Thank you. I mean, just look at the color of it. Yeah. All right, and then, <laughs> and, then and then obviously we do tr traditional when I, sashimi. When I come here, this is what I eat. I tend to be more of a sashimi guy, and like you can't go and get sashimi everywhere because you can't like trust it. Right, right? Right, yeah. But the colors here, and you can see how fresh it is. Um, tuna is definitely like my favorite thing. I mean, just gorgeous tuna right there. I'm not gonna. Doesn't eat any soy. Doesn't no. eat any wasabi. This is just candy to me. So good. What else is on the plate here? And so we have uh, our grit. Uh, That's the seared tuna. Seared tuna, our taco, or octopus, saba, or mackerel, uh -huh. hamachi, and of salmon. course salmon. I have never had sashimi octopus. Oh, it's, That's what I'm it's going awesome. For. That's pretty freaking good. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorite mm. sashimi. Mm. Food has been fresh, delicious, amazing, over the top. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you letting me try all oh, your amazing uh, food. My pleasure. I'm happy come, to share. Come to any of his four locations. Stay tuned next week for another episode of Restaurant Tours on OCN Eats. And follow us on YouTube on OCN Videos. Follow Hapa Sushi on Instagram. Follow OCN Eats on Instagram. Let's eat. Oh.